There are some very important similarities and differences between working with audio and MIDI clips in Ableton Live 7. In this movie, we're going to specifically look at working with the clip view for MIDI clips in Ableton Live 7. I've got a very basic, simple MIDI clip here using a simpler instrument. It's a simple, simpler MIDI clip. And I'm going to double click the clip to view the clip view. Now, one important difference between the clip view for audio clips and MIDI clips is this area here, which is known as the sample display in audio clips view and the note editor in MIDI clips view. You'll notice here on the left that the clip box is showing as it always is with both audio and MIDI clips. The clip box contains the same functionality for MIDI clips as audio clips. I can type a new name. I can change the color, time signature, and the groove. These three buttons show and hide the other boxes just as they do for audio clips, though in this case we've got our launch box, which is the same for both audio and MIDI clips. We'll be looking at the launch box in its own movie coming up shortly. We have the notes box instead of the sample box. This contains some very similar functionality to the sample box, but is a little bit different, and we'll look at that in this movie. And envelopes, and envelopes are similar but different again between live audio and MIDI clips. Going back to the notes box here, we have the same halftime and double time functionality that we saw working with audio clips in the sample box. We have this bank, subbank, and program drop down menus, which are used to send MIDI information to external MIDI devices. We will not be looking at that in this course. We have our start, position, and length functionality, which just as you can with audio clips can be adjusted, in this case, in the note editor and those changes will be reflected here. And just as you can with audio clips, you can click and drag or type new values to change that information here. And as you can see, our zooming functionality for audio and MIDI clips down here is the same, a little bit different up here in that you have to click and drag at the top of the note editor to zoom in and out. Our envelope functionality functions very much like the envelope functionality for audio clips, the difference is the choices that you have here. Now I've got draw mode activated. I'm going to play this clip as it is. Let's lower the tempo a little bit and draw some pitch bend automation. And that's a little bit different from the transposition automation that you would draw in an audio clip. Let's go ahead and delete all of that by selecting the loop brace and hitting the delete button. But it's essentially the same thing. It bends the pitch. It's just done with MIDI information, so the sound is a bit different. We also have volume automation, which we can use to adjust the volume of our clip. And again, select the loop brace and hit delete. And panning, which works exactly the same as the panning that you saw when working with audio clips. So those are some of the similarities and differences when working with MIDI clips and audio clips in Live 7. In the next movie, we're going to take a look at launching both audio and MIDI clips.